The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Real Madrid. They take on Inter next on EA TV. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Real Madrid up against Inter. Well, Derek, we've got some of the world's top players out there tonight, so this has to be a great game, doesn't it? I just hope we see both sides play to their full potential. I can't wait for this. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Carvajal starts with David Alaba as fullbacks. Toni Kroos plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And the main goal scoring threat provided today by Karim Benzema. Inter's lineup is as follows. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. Champions League final commences. Francesco Acerbi. Chalanolu. On a pass that lacks quality. Eder Militao. This is Alaba. Eduardo Camavinga. Vinicius Jr. On to Carvajal. Modric! Well, I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Federico Di Marco. For Inter, ball lost. Benzema. Intense pressure. Dzeko. On the ball, Bastoni. Martinez. Trying to really get at the opposition here. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Will he play it in? Now delivering that deep cross. Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. And take it away. Martinez. just failing to bend the run enough and the flag has been raised read it superbly to take back possession
Now potential danger. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Carvajal. And now Rodrigo. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. And space to exploit, maybe. Benzema. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Federico Di Marco. On the ball, Bastoni. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Tony Kors. Inter in a position of menace. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. And short it is. Another great cross, making the goalkeeper's job rather easy. Benzema. And he might be through here. Benzema! Oh, marvellous save! Great goalkeeping! Barella. A possession lost by the Nerazzurri. Benzema. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Dumfries. He's lost it. Mikitarian. Jekko. Space on the flank. Well, the cross didn't get past the first defender. Benzema. Rodrigo. Camavinga. And he's clear his lines. Luka Modric and a goal as Real Madrid strike first in the final and just listen to their fans well look at the replay here because they don't come much better than this he hits it so swiftly what a goal this is to restart the game it's going to be interesting to see how they reply to that setback now there you can see Real Madrid haven't been able to control possession but when they have won it back in midfield areas their counter-attacking has been excellent they'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment and the threat on the counter-attack is very real here they come again Modric. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Benzema.
Federico Di Marco. Going well. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Vinicius Jr. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Luka Modric at the ready. And there it is! A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. The trophy coming their way, surely. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Not away completely. Benzema waiting. Clumped clear. This might be ideal for the counter. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Magnificent defending. Terrific block. Now they've lost it. And the attack goes through Mikitarian, who is certainly capable. Barella. Can he finish? Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. Vinicius Junior. Now well, a good tackle. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Jekko on to Barella real chance oh dealt with by the goalkeeper who can they pick out well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance Martinez return to Barella Chalanoru now with Jekko a wonderful intervention David Alaba and into the last 30 minutes now Alessandro Bastoni Barella has it and options in the centre great block by Alaba on the back of that cross oh terrific save well you're absolutely right that's a top class save just look how he reacts and time for the change now it's a short corner cross fired over well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Really inventive stuff from Real here, but quick thinking defensively. 
Danmian. Great pressure to win the ball back. And the keeper more than equal to it. And great work to confuse the defender. Dzeko. Martinez. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Vinicius Junior, untidy on the ball. Correa. 20 minutes remaining. Modric. Oh, that's a fine pass. And the keeper there to deal with it. Dzeko. The ball with Martinez. And that's how to dispossess your opponent. Modric. Nice and easy for the keeper. Dumfries Martinez oh, showing excellent vision Dzeko oh a nearly moment but not quite good enough well you certainly can't fault them for effort they keep applying the pressure and if they can just nick one they're right back in this well, only minutes remaining now, and Real Madrid enjoying a commanding lead. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward, and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall... Benzema! Well, here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. On they go again, and Real very much in control. Well, that's a super ball over the top. Well, the flag was up in good time, bringing that move to an end. But he's just got to be more patient there. He's gone too early. And they will make the change now. Modric. Here's Carvajal. Now they've lost the ball. Correa. Flag up. Tight offside. Substitution for Real Madrid. And the flag is up, offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Five minutes left for play, and all pretty decisive. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Modric. 
Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. And you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. Disappointingly, straight into the wall. Barella. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Barella. Superb block. Well kept out. Played over. And they deal with the threat this time. Martinez. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Mkhitaryan's delivery. Meat and drink to the Belgian. And there! is Real Madrid Champions League winners well just look at the emotions out there joy and relief on one side despair and heartache on the other but we've got the right winners here they fully deserved it on the night for these players well it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners... Real Madrid well this is what they wanted what a moment for these players they've worked so hard to win this trophy they've been fantastic and you can feel the emotion it's natural to reflect on this final but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign memories memories what would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters well these fans have certainly played their part haven't they they'll savor these moments they've traveled far and wide to follow their team they're loving every minute of this and why not they deserve it a performance of fire as well as ice they held their nerve when that was necessary and these celebrations will run long into the night Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.